Ain't no time to play in. Eight urban celebrities battle it out to learn the ways of the Pacific in order to find out who knows their tikanga best. Oh yeah, and win this mean ass prize. An Air New Zealand works trip for two to Rarotonga. Three nights at Little Polynesian Resort. An Akura Charters fishing trip and progressive dinner for two. Air Rarotonga flights to Aitutaki and two nights at Pacific Resort Aitutaki. And a Vaka Lagoon trip for two. It's time to ditch the digital and learn the traditional. So get ready. Cause Know Your Roots is back, baby. Ah! The grand final day. I'm f excited! There we go, that's how I bloody feel. I made it to the final. Me, me, Patti, disciple Patti, I did. I'm gonna be the new Know Your Roots champion, Bo, watch this. And coming into this final, I'm feeling very grateful, is a word I would say. Well, I feel powerful right now, eh? I'm like walking among the best. I'm really keen to win the trip, eh? Be cool to take my missus away. But then, I think those two deserve a trip as well. So I'm hoping today's challenge is gonna be something Samoan. I'm feeling very close to my ancestors today. I don't know what the challenge could be. I hope it's something running because this Poku loves running. <laughs> so the last two competitions, the winners of the Māori, but they have also been wahine. So I'm the only woman in the competition, the only Samoan with two Māori. I'm feeling ready to kick some <laughs> Sapati, she actually has no strengths, because she's weak as. I said it. What are you going to do about it, Sapati? No, she's all good. Just don't let her know I said that, eh? Mauri ora e te and Saipe to you three for making it to the Know Your Roots Grand Final! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Bro, I've loved this whole process straight up. I've had an opportunity to not only deepen my understanding with te ao Māori, but also with Samoan culture, Tong culture, Hawaii culture, man. I'm just feeling really full. By the end of today, one of you will be crowned our champ and will finally be able to change your Insta bio to less plastic than Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Far out, Ollie is pretty bloody ruthless. Bro, I'd love to see him say that to Swiss in the streets, cuz. But now, for actuals, all three of you, no matter what, can go home at the end of today knowing that none of you are plastic polys. To be honest, I'm confident, but I'm not that confident. I know they're very strong, those two. So, um, yeah. Just give it my best. Last week he was all cocky, all cocky, right before we got to the tears. Now today he's like, oh, oh, I'm just happy to be here. Just grateful for the experience. Shut up! Sapati. Yes. Who's going to win today? That's a big question, Ollie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look at her, she's doing the Nah, I don't know. It's all an act, bro. She knows she wants to win this thing, and she actually thinks she's going to win. We all know. We all know. Errol, do you think you deserve to be here in the final? Mmm, I'll let the audience decide. I deserve to be here. I went through the challenges and I just went hard. Really? Bro? I've been through all the same challenges as everyone here. I've earned my place here, and he goes and says that to me? He was a little <laughs> Brother Late, Uncle Tix, are you surprised you made it here to the grand final? Yes. <laughs> I am surprised I'm here in the grand final. I don't know why the f you're laughing. Because <laughs> I'm surprised too. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding, love you. If love we you, had it you. our way, we would have had you out at the start. I'm just going to let them go at it, and I'm just going to flank around the corner, bro, and come in and take the center. Today, we're borrowing elements from right across the Pacific. Tonga, Samoa, Aotearoa, and Hawaii. We're going to be bringing back some challenges from this season on Know Your Roots you've already seen. And we'll be bringing some new stuff in as well. That actually sounds like a lot of fun then. <laughs> hmm, what could those be? What could those be? What could it be? So, what will you be doing to claim the Know Your Roots crown? Well, today you will be competing in a Pan Pacific Relay and Puzzle Building Challenge. <laughs> I was like, who's Pan? <laughs> 
Is that like Maui's cousin or something? Or... Yes, this uh, Pan Pacific Relay, I think, has my name on it. I'm not nervous like last week. I'm in it for the win, bro, so better watch your bloody back, eh? Hopefully, Uncle Tix tackles the whole lot of his puzzle and just throws everything everywhere because, yeah, I need some sort of advantage. To begin, it's a kid's fave from the streets of Samoa. You must push your tin can to a set of ropes. From there, it's the dreaded Maui plat. Once you have completed your plat, make your way to the ulu Maika area. You will need to get one ulu through the pegs before you can move on. Next up, you'll head to the Tongan Ngatu puzzle building platform. Using the sandbags, you must knock every puzzle piece off the platform before you can begin to assemble your Know Your Roots puzzle. If you think you have completed your puzzle, you can call for a check. But be certain, because whilst I check it, your competitors are allowed to continue and they might just beat you to the punch. The winner will be the first freshie to correctly complete this puzzle and will be crowned our Know Your Roots champion. Woo! Okay. Not so party. Not Not so party. Sorry, Tex and Errol. You are dead, gone, buried. Well, I'll come to your funeral. I'll give you a eulogy. That's why I'm wearing black. Patty is so over the top, man. She is over the top. She thinks she's going to bury me. Well, actually, you know, I, w I wouldn't be surprised, man. I'm sure she's dug a few holes in her life, brother. Have you not been entertained? Today, you will be competing in a Pan Pacific Relay and Puzzle Building Challenge. To begin, you must push your tin can to a set of ropes. From there, it's the dreaded Maui plat. Once you have completed your plat, make your way to the ulu Maika area. You will need to get one ulu through the pegs before you can move on. Next up, you'll head to the Tongan Ngatu Puzzle Building Platform. Using the sandbags, you must knock every puzzle piece off the platform before you can begin to assemble your Know Your Roots puzzle. The winner will be the first freshie to correctly complete this puzzle and will be crowned our Know Your Roots champion. OK, team, you've all done amazing to make it this far. Grand final, last challenge. Kamatara, be sharp. Here we go. Toru, Rua, Tahi, Timata! Ollie says go, and I clock how big the uh, corned beef can is. <laughs> and I'm thinking, whoa, where do you even get these? <laughs> oh my god, I hate that noise. And I was off. And I was off like a rocket, bro. Come on! I see Tex just gas it down the line. I grab the can first, I place it down in front of me, and I pick up the stick and then I start pushing it from behind, and I'm like, this seems really hard. I got the technique on lock, I think, straight away, and I just boost it off. And then I put it in from the side, and then it starts to give a little bit more movement. And I'm going, oh, OK, OK. So I start finding a nice little angle. Come on, Patti, find that groove. OK, OK, OK. Get it rolling, nice. We got this, we got this. Errol comes in straight behind Tix, <laughs> and I'm still fumbling around trying to get it to go straight, to wheel in the right direction. I was thinking, yeah, Putty, you could just uh, put the thing on its side, because it, it it's just easier to roll that way, but it looks like she's doing a bit of a coin toss. Oh, my God! You put your stick in it, and then you just push along the inside of it. It kind of just glides itself along on the edge the whole time. And I'm like, all right, all right, bro, that's us. Let's go, let's go. And then I start picking up a little bit of speed as well, and I just start drawing in on his tail. Oh, Uncle Tex is almost there, and Tex can move on to his plat. I see him hit the finish, he takes off, and I'm like, ooh, it's time to hit the nos. And my peripheral vision, I see that there's no more yellow. <laughs> there's no more yellow man, and he's all the way gone somewhere else. <laughs> As I was running up the hill, me and the cameraman pretty much slipped over. <laughs> I nearly ate <laughs> and so did the cameraman. <laughs> Finally got into a rhythm and I was like wheeling it along, wheeling it along. Later, putts. But before I got to the end, Errol was gone. So it's just me and my visible cat <laughs> in the field, bumbling around. So the plate was next, I get up to the Maui's plate. 
I was really freaking out. I can see uh, three poles with a with um, um, rope attached to them, three ropes, and um, I just start plaiting the heck out of my one. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Come on, puppy. So I finally get over the lane line, and then I gas it up the hill. Do the girls proud, puppy? Uh, my technique was just over, 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 over. I learned that I'm um, making curtains years ago. Yeah. Tix is boosting through the plat. His fingers are just working at a rapid rate. I have forgotten that I have not been running for a long time. So I get to the plat and I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm running up the hill. I hate cardio so much. Yo, I need to breathe for somebody needs to give me my asthma inhaler. <laughs> Uncle Tix keeping his lead. Errol catching up. Putty is slaying the plant. She's coming for you, fellas. Let's go, Putty. Period. Yeah, yeah, I've got three sisters, man, and they, you know, they keep me busy. They make sure I plait their hair, make sure they're all nice and pretty. So I'm not too stressed out about doing the plait. I can feel myself catching up, though, but I don't want to look because I know that as soon as if I see them, I'll be thrown off. Yep, you're good. Hey! And then I took off. <laughs> um, next up was Ulu Micah. You go! Oh, no, I'm taking it. So I finish my plait and I, uh, you know, look over at Patty and go, uh, fuck Patty. <laughs> get my plait going, get my plait going. But before I'm done, I look at both of them, I've gone again. I'm like, ah! Throw it down. I was like, go! I'm like, fine. My first shot off the, off of the right stick. <laughs> and then the second one I threw went right through the middle, so I just took off down the hill. I don't know how many attempts Tix has had at this stage, but um, just on my arrival, he just manages to get it through the uh, between the sticks. Like a little bumblebee! Off, off to go find his queen bee or whatever. Keep um, going, I... and you're good! Pick that thing up, let it go. It just felt so good. It was a nice line, and I took off before it even went through the sticks, bro. I knew it was going in. As soon as I get there, Errol scores his thing and goes through the tooth. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. So good. I'll get you the puzzle. I'll, I'll get you the puzzle. I know, I know. I, I boost around the corner. I get a little bit of a slip, but I'm like, all good, sweet as. I'll just, you know, get a long stride going and I'll make my way to the end of this race. I really was like freaking out because everybody else had gone and I was on my own, all by myself, you know. I'm so shattered. And I see Tixes up there and I see these big three puzzles and they're just huge and it looks like there's a lot of pieces to these things. Uh, uh, Tix looks like he's, he's kind of having the same reaction as me. Damn! Pick up the next one. Skadish! Skadish! <laughs> I'm the other way. Oh my God, that's way harder than it looks. The first thought I think is uh, there's a lot of crests and a lot of birds on it and a few donkeys. <laughs> Loves a donkey. Oh my God. One of you up there is still dealing with your intergenerational trauma and you're putting it on me and I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I look at the puzzle and I'm going, okay, I need to take my time with this because once I bust this thing down, there's no going back. So I need to get a clear image in my head. So I'm standing there and I'm just staring at it and then uh, the image just starts kind of like bouncing around. Oh, heck, this is actually a lot harder than I was prepared for. Then I'm like, okay, I look at the four corners and try and work it out from there. Fourth one, still didn't get it in. Fifth one, still didn't get it in. And then finally, somebody up there was like, okay, fine, we'll let her have this one. I get it, Shut and it goes straight through. Thank God! Thank God. Because we're so tired, um, knocking it off like that was really hard in my opinion, so, you know, I really struggled. I pick up my sandbags, I start knocking them down, they come down real quick and I'm going, oh, sweet ass, sweet ass. I, I guess it down the hill and then I'm going into the field and then I see Leighton and Errol chucking their sandbags at the thing and I'm like, phew, even though I was not, you know, worried anyway. So what I did is I tried to collect all my pieces and just to bring them in front of the um, the platform there so I wouldn't have to run back and forth. I could just kind of eliminate that factor. I don't think the boys took that much time to look at the puzzle at all. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to try my best to take time 
because I knew that that was going to help me and whatever they were doing they'd get lost in whatever they were doing and I would have a solid idea of what went where. I was looking for the horses, I was looking for the right horse, I was looking for the stars, I was looking for the birds and the other stars and I was just trying to start with those pieces there. Ah, you f It was really hard. I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I kind of just remembered the four corners and we're like, okay, this could work. Let's just go from there. I just started building up the right side and working myself across. I hit this one, I hit this whole of these columns on the right, and I'm like, okay, cool, pick up my other one. Hit the other columns on the left, and there's one left to go. The Tongan Natu is a, a painted tupper, which you hang on the wall and things like that. So I learned that today, it's really nice. And he told us while we were down there, and I was like, oosh, this is mean. But what does it have to be so bloody hard? I actually can't remember um, which horse is going in the bottom left corner. And I'm like, oh no. I'm like, okay, hold up, bro. Just chill, just chill, man. Come on, Ruo Moko, help me, brother. I get to a building and I put my bird on the right hand corner and I start my base. Start building up a bit of a thing. And it's going, okay, horse star, horse star. Errol's puzzle look like trash. <laughs> And I'm like, all right, sweet ass, okay. And then I start doing on the next piece. I go into the um, star bird, star bird. Getting it done! How am I going? I don't know. Layton calls for a check. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right. Ollie comes over, and I'm like, ticks. Say it, Ollie. Say it, Ollie. Say it, Ollie. Your puzzle is. Today you will be competing in a Pan Pacific Relay and Puzzle Building Challenge. To begin, it's a kid's fave from the streets of Samoa. From there, it's the dreaded Maui Plat. Once you have completed your plat, you must make your way to the Ulumaika area. From there, you must move on to your puzzle building platform. And I was off like a rocket boat. Come on! I see Tex just gas it down the line. <laughs> Later, putts. Tex is boosting through the plat. His fingers are just working at a rapid rate. Next up was Ulu Mika. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. Oh my god, that's way harder than it looks. I was looking for the birds and the other stars, and I was just trying to start with those pieces there. It's all good. I'll get you the puzzle. I know, I know. I just started building up the right side and working myself across. And I'm like, oh no. I'm like, okay, hold up, bro. Just chill, just chill, man. Getting it done. Layton calls for a check. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right. Ollie comes over, and I'm like... Tex. Your puzzle... is... incorrect. Leighton, you're not correct. Oh, Ollie, you suck. You haven't even known. Yay! Well, that f***ing helped me, didn't it? <laughs> well, you're a kicky, you <laughs> I was like... I thought I was there, man. I thought I was there, but oh well. On to the next try. And what does Lason do? Take his box and put them everywhere. And when he makes it worse than he first had it. Putty is there in the middle and she's moving slowly but surely and her, her image is beginning to grow. Her puzzle is being pieced together. And I look over and look at it and I'm like, she's so close. And so what did I do? Skadish! Skadish! At that moment, man, I'm thinking, oh, I need a miracle right now, dude. This puzzle was trash. Sorry, Errol, but your puzzle was trash. All the stars are looking the same. I can't find birds. Um, you know, I pick up pieces, I put them down, I pick up another one. It looks like the exact same piece that I put down before, and it probably was, because... Ah, they bait. So I basically just had to put this piece here, this piece here, and then I'm practically finished. So then I call Ollie over. I'm calling it. I look over, and now she's getting, yep, I'm done. And I'm like, she's got this. I know it. Oh, she no. Patty, slow us out the gate. Found it tricky with the push and tin. Caught up on the plat. Stumbled again with Ulu Micah. Ollie's just standing there, and he's just 
you know, talking and talking and talking. And I'm like, come on, bro, you know if it's in or if it's out. So, Patti, congrats, you are ah! a Exactly! Yeah! Oh, my God! So, I won! <laughs> Period! Ah! Another bloody wahine. Good on him, man. Um, she faced all the challenges, same as us. She's going home with the meat pack, bro. She cracked it. Finally! It's a woman, and she's not Maori. She's 100% Samoan, well, 70% Samoan. I think everyone kind of expresses a win in a different way, and hey, it might come out sharp and a bit over the top. Uh, at the end of the day, she earned it. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit gutted I didn't win, but I was still stoked for her. I'm not gonna sit there and be a sore loser. I was stoked, you know. That's the end of the season, that was cool. Five weeks of hard money. I am genuinely thankful for all of the beautiful relationships and moments that I've gone to experience, especially last week watching Leighton experience acceptance and connection with his culture. The main highlight for me was meeting everyone and making new friends. It's always cool making new friends, bro. I'm not gonna go soppy on you. Already cried on your bloody television show, don't need to cry again. Like, man, although I didn't get to take the media home, like, I still feel like I've won, bro. There's so much stuff I didn't really know about, about my Samoan brothers, about my Tongan brothers. Man, this has just been an absolutely awesome opportunity to learn something new, and, and I just feel uh, more connected with my, um, my brothers and sisters. We talk a lot of smack about all of each other, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're all gonna have each other's backs, you know? Culture is something that is very personal, and it's something that I think a lot of young people feel attacked on a lot of the time. And so this is just a great way for all of us to show solidarity with each other. Uh, I grew as a person. I feel that's what I've appreciated most. And I uh, just want to say this, Polynesian girls and boys are dope. Congrats, Patti. You earned it. Look after that, Mere. It'll look after you. You might have won here, Sapati, but you will never win in the real world. I'm the champ, you're not sorry. I'm just gonna wind that back. That was quite mean, but um, you suck. <laughs> not my fault. One of these days, boys. One of these days, we'll get one. Mwah.